So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the speed limiter and the cruise control. I'm gonna show you using all these buttons and what's on that display there for you. Now, I'm gonna just show you on this A road here. And all I'll do to use cruise control, I'll select this little switch here. And then I'll use the RES button to then set the cruise control and you'll see I've just set it at 39 if I want to increase it as I'm driving I can and you'll actually notice when I press the reserve button it's going at 60 miles per hour which is the speed limit on this road if I want to cancel it I just press the cancel button or I can actually touch the brakes to cancel the cruise control this car doesn't have driving assistance package, so it won't actually cruise control uh, and follow the car in front and adapt the speed. I'll be showing that in a separate video, how to use that system. I need to get a car that has the driving assistance package to show how that system works. Again, if I wanna set the cruise control, all I'll do is select the desired speed using these as well, arrows here. I've got set plus and set minus. When I'm ready to use the cruise control, all I'll do is press the res button and that will engage the cruise control. Again, the cruise control. Once I'm hitting the desired speed, you'll notice I can increase and decrease the speed. The green light is just saying that the cruise control is actually working. You'll also notice it here on the speedometer. Again, if I want to slow down, I'm just going to dab the brakes. I can also use the arrows as I'm driving. So you'll notice I'm using the arrows now to increase and decrease the speed. Increasing the speed or I can use the accelerator to increase the speed if I want to take control myself again if I want to use the cruise control I'll just press the res button and automatically because this road is a 50 miles per hour road it adapts accordingly and now the road is 40 miles per hour. The cruise control on the brand new C-Class is very clever. It monitors what the speed limit is on the road. And then when you press the res button, it will set the cruise control at the correct speed limit. Next, I'm gonna show you the speed limiter. So I press the limiter button. You've got the limiter symbol here. And then I can set the actual speed limit. So on this road, I wanna do 40 miles per hour. And now as I'm accelerating, I can't go above 40 miles per hour. You'll notice that the road is actually now 60 miles per hour. So to cancel the system, I can actually really accelerate hard. And as you accelerate hard, and you'll hear, feel a little switch on the accelerator. Another way to actually cancel the speed limiter is by pressing the cancel button and now it's not highlighted in green you'll also notice that i haven't had to use the arrows here to set the speed limit to speed it's actually adapted the speed according to the speed limit this time which is very cool speed limiter just means that i can't go above 60 miles per hour while i'm using the accelerator which is very useful situation where let's say you're on an average speed camera area on the m6 and you can't go above 50 miles per hour but you need to be in control of the acceleration and brakes because there are many cars on the road and using cruise, cruise control will not be safe so you'll see as i'm pressing the speed limiter i'm saying the different speeds but if i press the res button automatically the car knows to set the speed at the correct speed limit instead of me using the arrows. So that's quite a useful tip. 
It's quite clever as well. It's highlighting that I shouldn't really be decreasing the speed. So something that you should know, if you're using the cruise control, to actually set it, you have to be driving above 15 miles per hour. And you'll notice I can't set the cruise control. Speed limiter, however, you can start using that as soon as you start driving, which is very useful. So to use the cruise control, you need to be driving above 15 miles per hour. But you'll notice, can't set it. As soon as I've hit 15 miles per hour, I can now set the cruise control. And because the green light's on, the cruise control is going to work and I can let go of the accelerator. Again, if I want to cancel the cruise control, I can press cancel. Set it again, press reserve. I can also tap the brakes to cancel the cruise control if I want to. You can see the green light's gone. Again, if I press the arrows, I can control what speed, if I want to change the speed, if I desire. You'll also notice that there's a 40 miles per hour speed limit. If I press the RES button, it automatically adapts the speed limit to what the road should be. Again, this is still a 40 miles per hour road. Press the reserve button, and now it's gonna cruise 40 miles per hour which is the right speed limit in a second I'm gonna be in a 16 miles per hour area let's see what happens it's now 60 miles per hour it's still 40 miles per hour so if I press the RES button again automatically it sets to the speed limit which is very useful Again, if I want to cancel the system, I can press cancel. And now I need to take control of the accelerator and brakes. If I want to set the cruise control at a different speed limit, I can by using the arrows if I need to, or press the RES button to get it back to the speed limit. That's how you use the cruise control. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the speed limiter. So. Change it onto LIM limiter and I can set using again the arrows or if I press the RES button it sets it to the correct speed limit at 50 miles per hour and again as I'm pressing the accelerator I can't go above 50 miles per hour which is what I desire if I want to cancel the system I can press the cancel button now you'll see the limiter is off. I can also tap the brakes while I'm using speed limiter. That's not actually going to cancel the system. The only way to cancel the system is by pressing the cancel button. If I put my foot all the way down, that will then cancel the whole speed limiter system. But as soon as I let go of the accelerator, pedal and go back down below 50 miles per hour, the speed limiter comes back on. You'll see, press the RES button again, and it sets it back to 40, which is the correct speed limit on this road. Very, very useful. The cruise control and the speed limiter always stays in this section, which is very useful. So if I was to change the screen layout, instrument cluster you'll see I've still got the information where I need it which is very useful even in understated screen I've still got where the cruise control and speed limiter information should be I think that's very very useful even when I select navigation still nice and clearly there I will do a separate video on how 
this system works with the driving assistance package. So please like, subscribe and comment if you also have any other video suggestions. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you. Check out the link below where you can use my summary sheet of what features and options the C-Class has. Also, I want to say a big thank you to Lucas Mercedes-Benz Wolverhampton for helping me make this video possible.